Hey folks, it's Ioi Thor and we're back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Vert. He's in his uh, VK7201K, and this is a tier 10 battle on Himmelsdorf. So some of you are going to be wondering, where have you been? Um, and the answer is, I've been working uh, a lot. Um, for a while there, I was doing 50-hour weeks, and between that and trying to stream and everything else, it just... It got too stressful, and I, I couldn't keep doing videos every day as much as I wanted to. Um, I, I mostly slept on my, my, day, <laughs> my day off a week. Um, and it just got, it got too much, uh, and I'm sorry for that. But uh, now that period of work is over. We, we have enough people working in for everybody to, to have okay hours <laughs> and not crazy ones. And so I'm back in the game. Um... Well, that's an interesting approach. Um, I, I, I swear I thought he was going to get shot up really badly doing that. But apparently nobody expected him to do it. And so, no, he was perfectly fine. As he puts a gold round through that poor Tiger 2. Who did nothing to him. Um, and he walks his way over to where this defender is having a problem. But the E3 now realize he is screwed up. And poor E3 is about to die. The defender's going to shoot him in the back right about now. Or not. That was interesting. Uh, the defender must have had his ammo knocked out or his gun knocked out or something. I can't see any other reason why he wouldn't have fired well before he actually fired. Um, so, okay, whatever. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> Vert is just gonna, uh, you know, walk around the corner and f come face to face with a couple of guys who are not gonna like what he's gonna do to them. So, tier 8 versus a tier 10. It's never really on even point field, but versus this. Versus this tank in particular, it's gonna hurt. Now, it doesn't help when our teammates are shooting us in the back. Is three <laughs> and still getting shot in the back by teammates. Uh, you know, <laughs> did we hit his gun? We must have hit his gun with that shot, and that's why we didn't actually um, do any damage. Oh, that type, I was trying to find the type four on the enemy team that did damage to us. No, that was a friendly Type 4 that did damage to us, of course. Um, and we've been ricocheting shots from also from friendlies. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> uh, friendly World Tanks means different things, depending on the day. <laughs> oh, yeah, side of an IS-7. We'll take that shot every day. Notice how he bumps the uh, the ally corpse just enough to, to give him some armor uh, and then he decides he doesn't actually need it because that I-7 is not facing him um, he's not even going to bother looking up at the ISM behind him because he knows he's not going to be able to reach up there uh, until he deals with the stuff uh, except now he has an issue now he's really got an issue so not only does he have tanks behind him um, he has tanks all around him. There's an IS-7 on this side, ISM over there, bad things over there, and ooh, Kernavarn decides he wants to die. So he walks out into the open in front of our beautiful gun, and there is 800 more damage. Now we're at 6,000 damage so far, um, and teams are currently even, but with just under 300 health left. It's going to be hard to do anything more out of this. Unless, of course, the enemy team just keeps walking in front of our gun with no hopes of being able to do anything against us. In which case, this is going to be a fun battle. I don't know what this Conqueror thinks he's doing. Um, but obviously he doesn't understand what this tank's best, you know, thing is. Is when you're looking at the front... If you're looking at the gun mantle on this tank, it's not worth anything. You, there's no way you do anything of, of value. 
This ISM has just fired recently. Pop out, put a shot into it, pull back into cover. Now the ISM will be reloaded in time. However, with the Type 4 next to us, maybe he's going to shoot the Type 4. If he does that, it's going to give us an open shot to, to knock him off. Um, we are no longer visible to him. Is he going to do, do the dumb thing and pull out so he can get a shot off? It looks like. No. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, that's exactly what he's doing. He's going to pull out to his death so he can maybe get a shot down the line. We're at 8,000 damage so far and counting. And uh, <laughs> if the enemies continue being this dumb, we're definitely going to make it past 9,000. M maybe all the way up to 10. That'd be cool. Okay, as we almost take out one of our own guys because he was just flying along. Uh, I don't... I, there's no way he was paying attention to where we were going. Um, with the T-54 over there, and the other one is an STA-2, and he's way on the other side of the map, more than likely... Uh, we're only going to get to fight one of the two of these guys. Ah! Brothers in Arms is available, so he platoons up with the Type 4 Heavy who shot us in the back earlier. That is... <laughs> oh yeah, side shots forever! And an engine fire gives us a total of 800 damage uh, before he dies. There we go. I actually thought he was dead with the first shot, but no, that was in fact not him. With 9,600 damage. Oh, yeah. Let's tee that shot up right there. We go. That is how you end the game. That was awesome. So, I hope you guys have approved of my first game back. Um, and we're going to go ahead and see how many more awesome games I can find and how many more awesome games I can replay for you guys. Um, and so again, please start sending me games again. I'm going to get back into this. I'm going to start streaming twice a week as well. And, um, everything else I can think of. I definitely want to get back into doing all the stuff I was doing for you guys. Even though, or especially now that my work has calmed down enough and I no longer will be working six days a week plus a double. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So let's jump over and see what his post battle results look. <laughs> Master, Ace Tanker, Bruiser, Duas, Fighter, Fire for Effect, Shellproof, Six Bonds, a Brothers in Arms, Confederate Steelwall, and High Caliber. Wow. Getting the High Caliber is awesome. Getting the Confederate and the High Caliber tends not to happen all that often. And then a Steelwall in there as well. The Brothers in Arms would have been expected. Um, uh, considering the, the fact that all he had to do was live, and there was a Type 4 uh, as his other partner in living, so these two made a, made a good team. Now that the Type 4 stopped shooting us in the back anyway, in the, in the start of the game, not so much. That ISM, that ISM actually ranked really high on the enemy team, considering the fact that he was really bad at the game. <laughs> um, and, like, the places where some of these other tanks that we uh, we did damage to for like free ranked on their team kind of tells you their team was not that amazing. But the fact that our team lost so badly to them, because if it hadn't been for Ver, we would have lost that game badly. Um, so it's it's just sad sometimes. <laughs> I mean, what half of our team did less than a thousand damage. In a tier 10 game. That's crazy. How do you do zero damage in a Tiger 2? The Tiger 2 is an amazing tank. Uh, oh well. Um, overall, thank you so much for saying this. And ooh, he made money even though he shot nothing but gold that entire game. Um, also, I should note that most of the shots he made, you can do with regular ammo. Um, yes, he was shooting purely gold. If he had switched to, to regular ammo, he may have bounced like two of those shots. Other than that, almost all these shots would have gone in. Um, and so, yeah. This was a great game. Thank you so much for saying it, Invert. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you there as I always throw out.